email improvements to make your life easier, more information in your tenant lists, and easier ways to manage your arrears with console pay. Stick around to find out more. Hey there, Consolians, it's Emma here, coming at you with this month's product updates. But first, let's take a look at the popular requests voted by you, which are now live. Number one is email VCC and CC, end of financial year statement improvements. And number three is console pay arrears updates as part of our automated communications. So let's take a look at how they work. Additional recipients can now be added as a BCC and or CC on individual messages directly from the communications drawer in cloud. You'll be able to search and use any contact that is set up in your contacts list, as well as enter a full email address manually for recipients that aren't entered as a contact. Turn on your arrears automation with confidence. If your tenants have had funds debited that are either not cleared yet or are cleared but are not receipted yet, the arrears notifications won't be sent. The notifications will recommence automatically if the tenant is still in arrears once the funds have been receipted. When using the export to CSV option in the tenant list, the pay to date and part payment fields are now included in the export when selecting all columns, giving you more visibility of your tenant information. You also now have the ability to generate end of financial year statements based on date ranges rather than financial years. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time for next month's product updates.